welcome to my channel. My name is Louise. I am a proud parent to two children, two adult children. Uh, one who lives with me, my son who lives with me and my daughter who's left home. And my dogs Chip and Dale, you'll hear them moving in and out because every time I put the camera on, they try to get my attention so they will be eating and drinking and running around trying to distract me because they want my attention. So if you're new here and you enjoy a haul every Saturday, I'm your girl. Lots of bits in between at the moment, maybe going to taper off after Christmas, who knows. It's really hard work doing something every day. It makes you realise how boring your life is. And we've got Christmas coming up, so we've got things to do after Christmas, we won't know. So yeah, I will still do vlogs, but I'm only going to guarantee my hauls still always guaranteeing my hauls. Everything else is a bonus at the moment until I have some sort of routine. Vlogmas was just a give it a go. So yeah, if you're new here and you're enjoying this or you just want to stay for my hauls, don't forget to subscribe. Please like, comment. I love comments and I'm. It, sometimes it takes me a couple of days to catch up with comments because I do get a fair amount considering everything else that I've got to do at the moment, but I am answering everybody and if you just do one of them little comments where I don't really need to answer, then I'll heart you. Just so you know, I've read it. I never, I'm not one of them people that was just going to heart it without even looking because that's just weird. <laughs> yeah, so don't forget, subscribe. Today I'm going to do a haul. This is stuff, I have stuff all over my house, like literally all over the house of just stuff that I've been buying as I'm going along and then leaving it, you know, like Christmas presents need to stay in the bag because they've got to be wrapped. My brain works weird. I can't wrap a present as I go along. I need to see everything visually and then wrap them and write, write lists and... <sighs> I make my life so hard for myself, seriously. Yeah, so I have bags everywhere. I've got bits of food shopping that I've been buying that's in the bedroom that's ready for Christmas that I need to get out to figure out because I've got to do shopping tomorrow, which is going to be my final one, which you will see on Saturday. Um, yeah, so I started to sort through things and realised I've got a lot of things I could haul, but I haven't. So we have a pound store and pound stretcher today. It's just alternate ends, some Christmas, some not so Christmas. But I will explain my reasons behind buying everything because most of the time I have reasons behind things. I don't tend to just pick up things just for the sake of it. But saying that, it is Christmas. I save all year really, really hard. I budget all year really, really hard. Christmas is my time when I sort of don't i allow myself to if i just see it because i want it i'm going to get it so don't always have a reason right now but throughout the year i will always have reasons for everything because it's just the way i work so should we get on with it so when i get in from work i have a routine straight upstairs get changed bring my ipad down my, i have my phone with me my pads because i have a number of pads and pens and it's like a juggling act so i wanted like a container i can just fit everything in this is perfect size for your ipad to go in that way but the bit i, I wanted about a bag was i didn't want one that i've got to close up and mess about i just wanted to be able to bung everything in and grab it absolutely perfect you know when you just think something's made for exactly what you wanted it for that is it very excited about that have been looking for something for an awful long time so to find it in the pound store as well was really good four light bulbs <laughs> corey bought me an alexa a couple of years ago now i think and he bought a bulb that goes connects to it but it's decided to not work and i have one of those where you have two lights that connected to one switch so i've only had one light bulb because it was the alexa one which like i said is disconnected for some reason won't reconnect but it's getting dark in this i thought okay we'll get two bulbs replace them upstairs in the hallway it looks like if you're not in in the hall if you're in the bedroom it looks like there's a moth or something you know when you get that like shadowing so clearly that's about to um, go and then i thought well if i just get the three you know sod's law another one in the house will go so we're backed up we're sorted hopefully <laughs> Turkey roaster, I thought this year, try and save myself a little bit of time. If I sat that in the actual proper roaster, because like, if you put turkey in that and try to lift it up, it's going to bend, isn't it? Because it can't take the weight. So I just thought if I put that inside my turkey pan and cook it in there, then technically I don't need to wash up after. And there's two there because I've got a gammon as well. I'm going to try and think of everything to make my life easier this year. 
these ones same reason vegetables or that will be the sliced up cold meats not sure yet yeah i i do like a good chocolate orange they have been gotten into like i said things have been sitting around where you have one left i believe <laughs> there's one left they're clearly good would recommend them this one there's two left but they're just as good this is a salted caramel don't know salted caramel just always sounds nice i'm usually disappointed but it just has a nice ring to it so yep yeah, there was no reason that was just a give it a go i mean technically they're christmas i do like see i've got a thing for christmas pictures on things as well which is really bad i am one of them consumers that you know they target me um so now we know we like them technically i could buy some more for christmas i mean yeah like i need an excuse and i thought that i'm gonna do dogs everyone has stockings at christmas sit the dogs i never do the dogs i always just wrap a couple of presents up and i really haven't found much that's any good for them they've got so many toys it's ridiculous anyway and dow's confirmed this week that you just need to give him an empty fizzy bottle and he is set <laughs> so i just picked up these ones for dale they are turkey flavor and they're the twisted like the two long round chews twisted they are quite bendy but two not chip is his teeth ain't great and he doesn't chew that much if he can get away with it so he won't eat those but these ones are a lot softer and they're chicken and fish i don't know how i feel about chicken and fish together but Blossom's dog, my daughter, sorry I didn't mention that to you newbie, if there's any newbies here. Um, Blossom, my daughter would be round, she has a collie, he will devour the whole lot. So whatever my dogs don't want is not an issue. Batteries, it's Christmas, we're going to need batteries. I already know that I've got some battery operated Christmas lights that batteries need changing out. For a pound for that lot, and they are just as good as the others. I mean for the amount you pay, I think you pay like £4 for four duracell is it or something like that whereas you get what 12 in here yeah bargain and that was all i actually got in the pound store um well no sorry i'm lying to you i don't like lying i just okay so there are a couple of other things but they are stocking fillers so i'm not putting them in this this haul because if i put little bits of stocking fillers in every haul then blossom won't be able to watch any of my videos and she likes watching them so i don't want to restrict her from watching any of them anymore so yeah th there are a few stocking fillers possibly going to do a whole uh, do a video with stocking fillers so you can see that before christmas we'll see how things go i don't like to commit and i'm not yeah We'll see how things go. So pound stretcher, literally, I mean, if you've been, you've been here you, before, you know how I just, I like a bargain. 20p, hummus with a dip. Don't know what it's going to be like. It'd be a nice little snack if I need it. Doing lots of overtime, so if ever there's a time when I just need that little pick-me-up, that'll do it. These were 10p, sweet potato. I'm not a fan of sweet potato because it's too sweet for me, strangely enough. Sea salt. Thai chili, 10p each, they're not for me, so um, yeah, somebody will eat them. Iced tea, I've been trying to find a iced tea tea bags because I, I like there's a Lipton, I think it's Lipton iced tea granules that I get. It's just a palaver making it, I well, it's not really, I'm just lazy. Um, but these are iced tea tea bags 49p, that is like a massive bargain. So this one is the strawberry and rhubarb, this one is peach and apricot problem is yes they've been tried i think there was three i believe three tea bags and you're supposed to steep them for a little while they were steeped for way way longer than it says on the instructions and there's such a mild taste so if you like water with a hint of flavor perfect for you but they needed to be a bit stronger so it was a little bit of a disappointment but for 49p and if, like i said if you like water with a very very slight hint of juice liquid like taste these are perfect these iced tea have a very very quenching taste a texture taste i don't know how to explain it until you've had it it's hard to explain but yeah 49p bargain now this is a storage box be looking for a store well not it didn't have to be a storage box my bed is really really high it's silly high 
and because my dogs are getting old I always have this fear where they're jumping up and down that they're doing their bones damage and and you know when you get old like humans when you get old things get brittle and all that sort of stuff so I wanted something they can jump on like halfway mark between the top of the bed and that works out about halfway and it was 12.99 I have been looking at this type of thing it's an average sort of price um, it's a nice colour though so yeah that's what it's for it's going to go by the side of the bed for the dogs to jump down on it cookie cutters do i even need to explain yes we are going to be making something over christmas i'm hoping to make something for the girls i did buy all the ingredients and i have said that i was supposed to have done it by now but just with the way everything's gone and when i have intentions of doing things they do get done but at a different time frame to the way i think things are going to go in my head so I got the cookie cutters, we're all set to go, i just got to figure out when things are going to be made. If not, Blossom's here from Christmas Eve until Boxing Day, we're definitely going to cook something, they will come in handy, and I think they were like £1.29 for that lot, so that's a pretty good bargain. These ones were weird that I found these, so when I went through all the Christmas boxes, we're getting all the Christmas decorations out, I found two brand new packets of tablecloths. And they are the, exactly this colour. And I bought them last year. And then when we went in, um, when I went in pound stretcher, they got matching napkins and paper plates. It was like I was meant to buy them. And I was just thinking, Boxing Day, couple of people coming over. If everyone used paper plates, and that again, it's just saving time. It's ha you know saving hassle, and it, it's, it was meant to be the colours. I was so excited. Look, this they put the button upside down. That was bugging the life at me when I was trying to figure out how to do, present them. Now the napkin words upside down. So that was it. That was my haul ish thing. I mean, is a haul just where you go out once and do a shop? Is that a haul, or is it just I bought this lot over the past? three weeks I don't know how long it's been sitting there honestly uh, it's not been that long I had to get rid of it I'm trying to get this place sorted out oh dear the decorations falling down so much still it's ridiculous um Corey's now <laughs> resorted to some black wire tape or um I don't know what it is it's a high attack or something it feels really strong but the decorations are still falling down but get this, get this right. So we're in the living room. So I think it was yesterday's haul that I showed you when I came in from work, it was on the side, but it's there, massive black bit. <laughs> That's the tape is gone, but it is starting to, it's starting to go. Like that bit, oh, let me show you. Yeah. That bit right on the corner there that's gone white is starting to peel again. <laughs> Yeah, Corey just come in, so sorry, I had to stop that for a second. Uh, yeah, we've decided, I think we've gone to, the, we're at the point now where any decorations that fall down, stain down. Because it's now, you know when you put your decorations up and it's all nice and it's happy and it's, it's getting to that point where if we have to keep putting them up, it's just a drag and it's just not worth it. So I'm going to try to record everything that's up. Oh, I don't know when I'm going to be able to manage it. I'm going to do the big shop tomorrow and i got... I don't know. As soon as I can, I'm going to try and record everything that Corey did. All our decorations. So you can see them. And then as they start falling down, they start falling down. I think we're at that point now. It will just be, once they're down, we'll just fold them up so they're all ready for next year. And they'll just go on a pile or something like that. Because it's just not worth it. <laughs> it's a decoration. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I haven't got the tripod, tripod out today. Um, angles all over the place. I'm trying to tidy up, and the tripod was in the way. And you know what I'm like. You've been here long enough. So it's that time again. We are on day 17. Let's see if we can get this out better. So Mary, <laughs> who's the person who guessed last time, and I said your name wrong, but. Like I said, I did apologise beforehand because I know what my memory is like. Now I'm trying to remember what you said it was going to be today. I believe you guessed Santa. Right. Don't forget, my nails are really bad. It, I, th apparently that nail varnish is st like proper stained. I've never had nail varnish do that to my nails before. but okay. So we have some holly. 
the big reveal. Even though I did say that this is really naff calendar, I do like doing it every day, like seeing what we're gonna get. Um, yeah, I don't know what we're gonna do next year. We're gonna have to find something else. Something, I'll have to try and think of something a little bit different. If I'm still doing YouTube next year, who knows? You never know what's gonna happen, do we? Okay, don't think we've had this one before. They're throwing these curveballs in for us, aren't they? Okay, that literally took me like 20 seconds to focus. So it's a snowman. Now thinking about it, have we had a snowman? Possibly, not sure, can you remember? So, snowman and some holly. Like a bit of holly. 17 done. 18 tomorrow. So I hope you've enjoyed this one and I will see you tomorrow. <laughs>